this video is a program that I just finished uh, debugging that will plot the Tektronix 4010 graphics from the 1970s on 4050 computers that were introduced in 1975. My 4052 that's running the program here uh, was introduced in 1979. And we're using the Fast Graphics ROM Pack, so my program converted the Plot 10 graphics, which were a completely different format, sent from mainframe and mini computers. So this particular plot of a San Francisco outline was a CAD program running on either a mini or a mainframe, I'm not sure. This picture, called G-Planet, was on a demo tape from the program manager of the Tektronix 4014 terminal and uh, potentially earlier ones, but he only claimed the 4014 program manager position. This one's titled G-Planet in his demo files. So these files have been converted from the format used to send from the mini computer or mainframe across a serial interface at 2400, 4800, or 9600 baud. And so we're seeing it actually drawn, I believe, faster than it would have been on the terminal because these files are being fetched from my GPIB flash drive. Uh, I've got a micro SD card uh, with the files. This particular file is 75 K bytes. The computers, the terminals, really had very little memory. The 4050 computers with BASIC, like this one, is maxed out at 64 K. It could not hold the entire picture. But what is storing the picture is the display tube itself. So this display is a direct view storage tube and that's the secret to these 1970s computers doing 1024 by 780 resolution graphics in vector mode. They do not have a bitmap display memory. Now this demo, I believe, was targeted for the 19 inch 4014 terminal. And so my 4054 computer, you can read it a little better because it has the same resolution as the 4014 terminal, but this graphics mode that I'm using only supports 1024 780 even on the 4054. So we'll see in that video uh, how much sharper this image is. If you've ever wondered what's inside your computer, integrated circuits inside your computer and very large scale integrated circuits are doing the work. The processors, the RAM. I believe this particular demo is for an integrated circuit, MASK. It says I see MASK in the title. And the oval shaped objects are memory cells, is what this looks like. And so I believe those would be one bit of memory. And so we're not looking at a very large memory device. In fact, the memory chips used, the memory ICs used in these computers, uh, the 4052 and the 4054, were 16 kilobit, 16,000 bits per memory chip. So we're looking at something that's probably 256 bits. The, the middle would be the cells and it's surrounded by the circuits that then interface this memory chip to the rest of the computer. So that's why some of the patterns off to the side probably aren't the memory as much as it's the interface to the memory. Or registers that may be in this uh, particular memory chip. 
so this is a drawing file and so at the end we will see the outline there we go that's the top part of the the drawing file you'll notice I was able to print IC mask above that I just discovered that I could print outside the lines <laughs> so I get the titles outside the graphics area of 1024 by 780 here we've got a montage of several different images very nice three-dimensional plot uh, of a sync function SINC oh, Snoopy the Red Baron and the tech wizard is down on the bottom right here we've got a spiral pattern the name of the file is bugs 45 um, don't have any information past that of what the equations were that they were plotting now this plot is one that I've tried to convert with basic program uh, to look at the original PLT file that was uh, in the demo video and there's a slight bug in the program that we'll see in a minute but what you see is this is a uh, very high-tech software package that would have been on the mainframe or mini computer that is doing multiple character sets and is able to plot uh, these on a plotter or preview them on a uh, terminal uh, and so dotted lines solid lines the graph is pretty sophisticated multiple graphs are being drawn in this particular demo solid fills, line fills, several axes in the video and these are logarithmic fills on the bottom plot spline interpolation and smoothing very interesting and display uh, I think is the name of the software program very familiar map of the United States and a larger version of that Snoopy Red Baron since these are vectors they're very easy to scale not familiar with refinery symbols but this is obviously a setup with valves and pumps uh, in a refinery this particular image was titled or plot file was titled vortex flows and it does look very similar to the previous uh, object that we saw but doesn't have as many lines and this is a view of what was graphed with Snoopy the Red Baron on that montage earlier in this video there's no more data points but uh, the curve is still quite smooth at this expanded uh, size and that concludes this video hope you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel